Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Just leaving the Temple of Trials after my failure rank A uh, attempt. We did make it past uh, the first round in rank A, but couldn't we succumbed to uh, the second round. Gonna have to do a little bit more training. Uh, we are on our way um, to Alma Moon. I can't call Tengri from here. You can't pick me up in this little crevasse. Ha, I say. Um, I don't even know why I need him. I could just, like, walk there. It's, like, right there. But if you have a flying dragon, you might as well utilize him at every opportunity. Uh, oh, oh, that's kind of a cool touch. Uh, so Alma Moon is still, uh, like, zombified or whatever under the uh, the mana. Um, so there's, like, a little cloud around it. That's actually really cool. Um, nice little touch. Uh, all right, well. Uh, we're gonna go heal this. Um, having some second thoughts. Well, okay. So, I, the Khalifa, like, is she, she's gonna be, like, a huge zombie. That's gonna be kind of a cool battle. I'm trying to think of what would be in Hamlin that I would have to battle. Because it wouldn't be Marcassin. Oh, is it the giant? It wouldn't be the giant pig tank, right? I don't know. Okay, we'll save that one. We'll do this one first. I was trying to debate which one I wanted to go to, and I'll go to uh, I'll go to Hamlet. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, guy. Whoop. What are these things over here? Can I pick these up? No, I cannot. Oh, almost got me. Oh man, got sandwiched. All right, good job, guys. We're under, We're under attack. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, buddy. What is this thing supposed to be, anyway? It's a swordsman, but is it like a shark? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. These things are actually pretty easy to defeat. You know what? Honestly, um. Just kind of putting the thinking cap on. Those things are pretty easy to defeat, and I assume that they give the most experience out of everything that you battle. If I was smart, I would train on these things for a little bit. Um, I would train on the zombies to get ready for, like, the Temple of Trials, unless there's monsters down the road that give me just as much experience. I didn't really think about that. I should have thought about that. But that's really... It's gonna really mess with my recording schedule if I stop and, like, train on these things. But it would not be a bad idea if I did that, actually. Because they are just so easy to defeat. And we could just, in, I could just, like, do this all day, pretty much. And then just go heal up and do it, do it all over again. Yeah, alright, alright. Maybe that's what I should have done, but that's fine. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on at this point. But I am definitely gonna, like, run into everything on the way to the palace. <laughs> like, as a horse. Dazzling hang Hagler. I don't know why these things have... A unique name all of a sudden. Ice Cream Lover? Like, they turn into a zombie and then they're just named, like, things that they enjoy or whatever they do. Not by their actual, like, citizen name. Bob the Zombie. Steve the Zombie. Oh, you know what? I wonder, uh... Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, never mind. Oh, um, another thing, too, that I thought of, um, as I was editing the one video from a couple episodes ago where, uh, we, we learned that P was a queen. Um, so, so, so she was the daughter of the Wizard King. I wonder if she was the daughter of Horus, who pops up from time to time. But that would be kind of interesting that they turn into kids when they're 
like deceased. I don't know. Maybe it is a maybe I don't know. Maybe it is maybe it is his daughter. I don't know. Maybe they just always stay young because P said that she's not a little girl. Very adamant about that. So maybe they maybe that's their people. Maybe they just stay young all the time. I don't know. I have no idea. Speculating at this point. Uh, but I'm just kind of curious because she was we do know for a fact that she was the daughter of the Wizard King and then she became Queen P. Um, kind of interesting to think about, I guess. You guys having trouble over here? I took out like one zombie by myself. What are you guys doing? Although I am a fire type, which I think they are weak to. Come on, guys. Get your stuff together. There we go. Whew. Sorry about that. You guys probably have heard that. I had to sneeze, but I didn't have time enough to mute myself, so I had to like sneeze into my arm. Uh, all right, anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, so there's guard. Oh, zombie guards? I'm just gonna run past these guys. So this is healing station is new. Whoop. Oh, I guess I'll battle you because I need to get to that healing station to heal myself up, but I'm gonna inevitably take damage from this. Shoe-dwelling damsel. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> See, now this one's called the Palace Guard. Like, that's that's what it should be called. Right? I don't know. Come on, guys. Just get in here. Stop messing around. Nice work. Nice work. Such good experience, though, and coins, too. <sighs> all right, all right. Maybe I'll take a break from recording when, before going to Anlin. Uh, no, I'm good on saving stuff. Let's go see what's up in the palace. Flipping act, that big beast looks cow in familiar. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. The cow leaf, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that thing is ridiculous! Oh, wow! Uh, look at the crown on the horn. Wow, that's ridiculous. Oh, she looks so weird. Let's go. Oh, nice. A boom. Although, wonder if Mornstar will would be better. Please stay away from me. Boom. Not too bad. All right, let's send uh, Barkship out of here. How are we missing? How are we missing this thing, guys? You missed. So I would assume that she... Oh, man! <laughs> that was a good move. Just roll on the ground. Roll on the ground. Oh, I didn't get it. Uh, okay. So I assume that she has a second stage, too. Like, uh... King Tom had. That's fine. Esther, please heal yourself. Thank you. Make me nervous out here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take her out. How is she? She has no... Uh oh, is she going to stand up? Oh, she's standing up now. 
Oh boy. Craggy, it looks like she's getting ready for a body slam. Watch yourself, Ollie boy. She's a heavy weapon and no mistake. Hang on, maybe if we made her even heavier, she wouldn't be able to get off the ground. Go on, man. Try using a spell to weigh her down. Uh, oh, interesting. Um, burden? 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 <laughs> I think it's gonna be burden. No, it's your chance. Oh, okay. Well, that did indeed work. Uh, oh man, don't, oh no. Tinny, don't get that. You're just gonna use your stupid move that nobody likes. Oh, there's another one coming out. Burning Heart, I don't really, this one does Oh, that did 557 damage. Okay. Can I get this one again? There we go. Back to back Burning Heart for 1,500 damage or whatever. Oh, do I not get the. Did that just disrupt that? Oliver. Oliver. Ah. Now is your chance. Why are these boss battles less, like, intense than the Temple of Trials? I would like to know. Burden. Now's your chance. <laughs> My chance for what? Alright, guys. Let's just... Let's just put an end to this. Alright, alright, Khalifa, calm down over here. Oh, I didn't get the defend off. Dang it, man. Burden. Just like, I'm, I kind of want to heal up everybody, but I also do not. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man, she got that off before I could use my thing. That sucks. Don't like. All right, Swain's dead. Tidy tears, heal me up, buddy. There we go. Still stunned, though. Oh, there you go. Hey! Babana Man took her out. We lost Swain, though, unfortunately. There we go. Well, Swain leveled up regardless. Maybe he'll come back to life. Barkship level became... Oh, what does Enlighten? Barkship cannot learn... Okay, right. What does Enlighten do? Opens the mind of the user, boosting magical attack. Uh... I mean, I guess I'll get rid of Pebble Pelt. <laughs> sure. Oh, all right. What do you got to say? The crystal. Right. Leave it to pain. Sanctify. Hmm, goodness, we feel as if we have awoken from a very long dream, or perhaps a very short one. How confusing. A dream about some manner of terrifying bovine monstrosity 
We are not amused. Yes, you are a moo. My, what a dear, sweet little thing you are, and where did you spring from, exactly? Queen Lola, are you hurt? Oh my, oh my my, my my. That exquisite face, those sparkling eyes, the great sage of Hamlin in the flesh, no less. Young man, your picture does not do you justice. You are a vision, an absolute vision. Oh yeah, she had that picture of him, ain't it? There's creepy. Moo, just see. You are not injured, I hope. Oh, a bull is here. Uh, we are quite the picture of health, thank you very much. A bull, you would do better to worry about the state of our beloved city. Away with you. Bring us news of our people at once. Yes, yes, Moo, just see. Uh, your wish will be fulfilled with all urgency. We should get back to the Iron Vern, Oliver. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. I'm going to have to look this up. Been saying it wrong this whole time, and I have still yet to... Eh, maybe I'm saying it right, who knows. Uh, there's just one kingdom left to save now, ain't it? I still can't get over P's magic, though. A proper little wizarding powerhouse she is. Haha, <laughs> proper. Yes, her magic can only be described as miraculous. The spell Sanctify... Um, it is... Wait, is it Sanctify or Sanctify? Because I think P says Sanctify with a... K instead of a T? I'm confused. Um, Alright, it is uh, missing from the pages of the wizard's companion. Oh, what about the flower? We thought if we found another one of those crystals, we might find another flower, didn't we? Sorry to disappoint you, but I had a quick nose round while you lot were fighting away, and I couldn't find nothing, Mun. There was a flower. Look, it's here. Eh? Where the flip did you find that? Yeah, like, she's holding the flower the entire time we're talking about this. What are you guys... What, uh, how can you not see that? Do you think... Uh, do you think maybe only P can find them? That would make sense. They seem to be linked to her past somehow. I wonder if this one will teach us a bit more about her. I guess it might, huh? I'm kind of nervous about what we might find out. Say, P, could you show us? Of course I can. Here. Ooh, what do we got? Apus, at least I have you to talk to. What the council mm. do? Can it be right? Earlier on, I overheard the captain of the guards. He said the kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet... Council, assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Tell me, Apus. This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council, provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from Her Majesty's hearing. Yes, and ensure that she is made publicly responsible for all of the council's decisions. Ha! A most splendid idea. We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame. <laughs> well, that kind of... Oh, there's more. Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, and I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell 
and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, Father, soon I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. All right. Uh, I mean, that that's like, that does it, right? So P is definitely the white witch because the bird. Like, that's, that's like, that's damning evidence right there. I thought that the first time we saw it, but then uh, the first, like, flashback that we saw, but, um, like, it, this one definitely seals it. Uh, all right, anyway, oh, plus the council, obviously. Uh, huh? Was that P? But she was all grown up, on. So it wasn't her. Come on, look at her. She's going to look exactly like the girl we just saw when she's that age. So you think we just saw a scene from P's future? If that were the case, her kingdom would still exist somewhere. Hmm, I wonder where it could be. We thought we might finally learn the truth about P's identity, but it seems the mystery has only grown deeper. Well, I know one thing. I'm not a fan of that Council of Twelve Bunch. I'd trust them about as far as I could kick them. They're definitely plotting something. Yes, poor P. Well, standing around gas bagging ain't gonna going to get us anywhere, is it? There's probably more flowers out there. Let's get on out and find them. You're right, P. You'll tell us if you find another flower, won't you? Yes, I'll find you another one. Then we must head for the last of the three kingdoms. The battle is not won yet. Flower of Faith. Cool. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that is where I'm going to leave things off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next episode.